Gold is one of the people's most prized possessions, but it's not limited to the precious rock. It also includes dogs, such as the Golden Doodle and the Golden Retriever. These pooches are two of the most amazing service dogs you will ever see. They are trained to work in nursing homes, comfort the depressed and the anxious, even work as medical assistant dogs, hearing dogs, and guide dogs for the blind. The main difference between these dogs is their registry. The Golden Retriever is a pure breed, acknowledged by the AKC. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is a cross between the Poodle and the Golden Retriever. It's no surprise that people plan to have a Golden Doodle or a Golden Retriever. Both offer a unique set of traits. Before you get one, make sure you can provide their needs first by getting to know them better. Depending on your needs and preferences, do you think a Golden Doodle or a Golden Retriever is better for you? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for your regular dose of enlightening dog-related content. Today, let's look into two of the best, most responsible service dogs on the planet, the Golden Retriever and the Golden Doodle. Which is better as service dogs? Appearance. Aside from their golden locks, both the Golden Doodle and the Golden Retriever have unique appearances. The Golden Doodle, for example, has a round, broad skull, long muzzle, and oval-shaped eyes. Their eye color is usually brown, but on rare occasions some grow to have blue or green eyes. The Golden Doodle body is firm and muscular. This four-legged creature almost has a Golden Retriever appearance because of their deep chest, wide stance, and muscular tail. The Golden Retriever has a dense coat and is water repellent because of its thick undercoat. These dogs have a heavier distribution of coat on their neck, back, and thighs, which give them their muscular appearance. Despite its name, some retrievers come in cream and black. Aside from their eye rims, they shouldn't have any spots or else you'll know that they're half-breeds. Origin the Golden Doodle is one of the newest poodle mixes established in the 1990s in Australia. Breeders wanted to create a larger doodle with a low shedding coat that inherits the intelligence and trainability of the Golden Retriever. Although they're not registered in the AKC as a breed, some communities promote the care and breeding of Golden Doodles. The Golden Retriever, on the other hand, is one of the oldest dog breeds that originated during the Victorian era. According to archives, it was bred using a tweed water spaniel, a yellow retriever, a wavy-coated retriever, flat-coated retriever, and a red setter. Dudley Majorbanks, Lord Tweedmouth, is known as the first person to produce golden retrievers in the late 1800s. Because of its looks and characteristics, it became popular worldwide, and in 1932, the AKC finally acknowledged them as an established breed. Size The Golden Doodle's size depends on its parents. It can be miniature, large, or standard. On average, males grow 25 to 29 inches high and weigh 60 to 90 pounds. Females, on the other hand, can grow from 22 to 25 inches and weigh up to 85 pounds. Golden Retrievers, on the other hand, grow from 22 to 24 inches in height for males and 20 to 22 inches high for females. Both weigh up to 60 to 75 pounds. Yes, depending on their lineage, Golden Doodles can be larger than their predecessors. So, choose one depending on your space and budget. Lifespan Both of these dogs are generally healthy considering their size. The Golden Doodle can live for 12 to 15 years, while the Golden Retriever can live from 10 to 12 years. Can you imagine how many years of experience you can have together? They can be your comrades, helpers, and service dogs. With this lifespan, they can do so much for you and bring color to your world. Personality the Golden Retriever is one of the most intelligent, sociable, and responsible dogs to have. These traits are inherited by the Golden Doodle and more. 
they also display other traits from the poodle. This includes their affectionate and loyal nature. This is why many people love having both around. The Golden Retriever and the Golden Doodle are bundles of joy who will do everything in their power to make people happy. Shedding Because of the thick, dense, and lush coat of the Golden Retriever, it sheds tremendously in the household. This is why you're going to need the de-shedding tools and combs to help them in their shedding process. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, either has allergenic or hypoallergenic coats, depending on what they inherit. If they have a loosely curled coat, they shed less. But if they have a thick, retriever-like coat, they can shed as much as the retriever parent. So you better prepare. Grooming. If the golden doodle and the retriever both have dense, curly locks, they are more difficult to groom. Their fur needs to be brushed with a slicker brush a few times a week. Sometimes you need to groom them a few times a day since their coats are prone to matting. But if the golden doodle possesses a low shedding coat, it's easier to groom them. You just need to pay attention to their hair that can poke their eyes. Comb them regularly and manage their coat to remove matting, dirt, and pests. Intelligence. When it comes to intelligence, both these dogs are top notch. They show initiative, especially when their services are needed. Even without human command, these creatures know what to do, especially during emergencies. The Golden Retriever, in particular, can hunt without command because of their prey drive. Because of its intelligence, it can plan its moves and achieve its goals strategically. Trainability Both of these dogs are highly trainable. The Golden Retriever and the Golden Doodle are obedient and can easily pick up signals and information from handlers. However, like any other dog, these dogs need early training. Paired with exercise, they can incorporate play with command. In due time, being service dogs will be something they enjoy. Temperament The Golden Doodle can easily be bored, especially with their masters. They also develop separation anxiety, during which case they can display destructive behavior such as biting and chewing. The Golden Retriever, on the other hand, is slow to mature. Sometimes they can get overly playful, which can be annoying, especially if you cannot control them. Family life. Because of their active nature, both the Golden Retriever and the Golden Doodle need handlers who can be firm during training. Do not let these dogs command you, or they can grow up to be aggressive and destructive. To bring out their amazing traits, you need to be consistent in giving them the training and exercise they need. Apartment living. These dogs don't do well inside apartments and other confined areas. Because of their activity level, they need a wide open space where they can run and expend their energy. Without it, they will grow restless and will find other activities to prevent themselves from getting bored. Friendliness towards strangers. The Golden Doodle and the Golden Retriever are socially inclined. They are naturally friendly towards strangers. However, this depends on their history and environment. You don't expect a dog to remain friendly if it grows in a violent or hostile environment. If you want a friendly dog, you need to socialize them as early as possible. This will help them get used to various sights, smells, and activities. Watchdog Ability Golden Retrievers are better watchdogs than Golden Doodles. The Retrievers can detect intruders and strangers from a mile away. They can be vigilant, especially if it means protecting their family. Golden Doodles, on the other hand, are more likely to welcome strangers at home. This is why they don't make good watchdogs. If you live in a hostile environment, the Golden Doodle may not be for you. Tolerance to Weather these dogs are tolerant to both hot and cold temperatures. However, this does not mean that you will not shelter them during domestic weather. Whenever it's hot, give your dog water so they can stay hydrated. When it's cold, cuddle with them. They need it as much as you do. Health 
Both these dogs are generally healthy. However, they can be prone to other diseases. The Golden Retriever, for example, is prone to elbow dysplasia, cataracts, and allergies. The Golden Doodle, on the other hand, is prone to obesity and skin allergies. This is why you need to have regular consultations with your vet so that they can diagnose your pet and prescribe the necessary interventions for prevention and treatment. Caring for these dogs usually costs $500 to $700 annually. Seeing how active they are, they need more food and nutrients to keep their bodies healthy. Other than their exercise and training needs, caring for the Golden Retriever and the Golden Doodle is easy. You just need to be consistent to provide their daily needs. Thanks for watching. Have you figured out which dog to get? If so, please leave us a comment with your thoughts. Also, please like the video if you find the video is useful. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more to come. And we'll see you next time.